guys, thank you for coming here uh, today. Uh, obviously been a very challenging uh, period for digital assets, ARCA, our partners. Um, but like Samana said, I wouldn't have a conference like this if you could plan it on a different day. So it's really fantastic uh, to meet with everybody and meet them face to face. So thank you for coming. Um, before I get started, um, I really wanted to just uh, relate a story that I think might contextualize uh, some of the challenges that are going on. Uh, as you may or may not know, prior to ARCA, I co-founded an ETF company called Wisdom Tree in the early 2000s. Um, ETFs have gone on to gather trillions of dollars in assets, uh, tens of billions of dollars in Wisdom Tree assets. Um, so a remarkable success in the entire space. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that Wisdom Tree faced an existential crisis very early on in its history. Um, like a lot of companies, uh, the 2008 financial crisis hit us very hard. Um, as a company, operationally, we were doing incredibly well. Uh, we had just crossed $3 billion in assets under management. Our team was humming. We couldn't be doing any better. Uh, then the bottom fell out of the uh, financial system. Uh, we had a publicly traded equity uh, that was trading above $10 a share. Um, and in the drawdown, we traded all the way down to 70 cents. So a nearly 90% um, diminishment in our market cap and uh, really was a near extinction level event for Wisdom Tree. But asset management did not end, uh, ETFs did not end, and Wisdom Tree didn't end. Uh, we survived. Now, the other thing that happened out of the 2008 financial crisis, uh, which wasn't at the time as important to me, but I think is more important for this group, was the advent of digital assets um, and Bitcoin, and why we're here today. So out of the ashes of the 2008 financial system came the digital asset revolution. Um, and right now we're faced with a similarly challenging macro environment as 2008. Uh, all risk assets are experiencing material impairments, and digital assets are no different. The one thing that I would say is different about digital assets, though, is that this is something that's not new to our space. Uh, since the beginning of the ecosystem, we've had four major drawdowns. Uh, the first one was in 2014 uh, with the hacking of Mt. Gox. This was a half a billion dollar hack, which at the time was a huge percentage of the entire ecosystem, uh, and our ecosystem was written off as dead. Uh, in 2016, there was the Dow Ethereum hack, where $60 uh, million uh, in Ethereum was hacked, um, that's now worth $8 billion, to just show you the, the changes that a, a little time makes. But that was also considered as fatal to our industry. A period of tremendous difficulty that I'm intimately aware of was the 2018 ICO bubble bursting. You had $700 billion in market cap dissolution. Um, into that environment, ARCA was founded. So we founded ARCA into a crypto winter, so to speak. And that was a period that lasted about a year and a half. Um, very challenging, but incredibly important for building things of substance. And the last one uh, before the current period uh, was in March in 20, of 2020, the beginning of the global pandemic. Uh, so these are all periods of tremendous stress in the digital asset ecosystem, but out of them came better things. Out of Mt. Gox, uh, we got Coinbase and Kraken, the largest US exchanges, and solved a lot of the problems of Mt. Gox. Um, out of the ICO bubble bursting, we got DeFi um, and DAOs and a whole bunch of other fantastic things. We also got the founding of, of ARCA, so I'm happy about that too. Um, so the point is that these periods of creative destruction are actually really important um, and are a part of what happens in this space. Right now, uh, we're in the midst of a very challenging environment. Just from April alone, nearly a trillion dollars in market value have been erased from our ecosystem. We're down 50% from that period, just in the matter of six weeks. So there's no way um, to make light of or diminish the importance or the seriousness of what's happened. But the important thing is that we're still here, and that is what has happened before in the digital asset ecosystem, the survival, um, and what comes next. Um, so Nassim Tlaib, the author of The Black Swan, um, also had another concept called anti-fragility. And this is the concept where something that's strong or robust is resistant to forces or resistant to stress. It resists being broken. 
the concept of anti-fragility, which was such a novel concept, you had to make up a word, is it's not resistant to stress. It's something that actually gets stronger when a stressor is introduced to it. So things that get better when stress is introduced are anti-fragile. The digital asset ecosystem is anti-fragile. You, by coming to a conference like this and participating in the digital asset ecosystem, are anti-fragile. ARCA and its partners are anti-fragile. Uh, when stresses are introduced to us, we get stronger and better. Um, so that's really the story I wanted to tell you about this. Um, as, try, as troubling as these times are, I wouldn't have picked a different date to meet all of you, um, to meet our LPs, service providers, to have everybody in the same room, to get to talk during a point like this. It's just a tremendous opportunity and honor so thank you so much for coming out today. Um, this is a conference about what comes next. Uh, where are the opportunities? Um, Postmorteming what happened. Uh, you can get talk to everybody, many fund managers, service providers, institutional allocators that are here. Uh, interact with them, I encourage you. So thank you again for coming. Um, I couldn't be more delighted to see you. Um, and we're gonna start off our programming now.